I'm not doing rolls. We are both I am not doing rolls. I'm not doing rolls. We are definitely doing rolls. You could do rolls. I'm not doing rolls. I don't even care what you're saying. My husband thinks he's my social media manager. I am. No, you're no, you're not. I'm not getting on Instagram rolls. Yeah, I like to be comfortable. I'm gonna make you so uncomfortable. Like we have this thing here, basically on Instagram, innit? Yeah, I turn off my, you know, on stories. No one can respond to me on stories, and he's begging me to take it off. Anyways. I'm not, be, I'm not being a shook head. Is, I'm not being a shook head. I'm so tired of it. I'm yeah, because, so, listen, like... No, 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 because I'm head no stories. No, nah, okay, there's guys. Nothing, there's nothing you can sell this no, 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 guys, like, okay, is anyone like me, like, when people, like, message me and respond to me so quickly, like, it gives me anxiety. Why it's like, because I, I honestly, like... He's set free, I'm, man. Like, even now, like, I'm actually getting, like, hot, like, yeah, thinking no, about it, like, I hate it. it. So on Instagram, I turn off my, my story replies. It just makes me feel better, like I prefer it. Mm. Anyways, guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Veronica Okoma. If you're new here, I upload faith, lifestyle, business, and motherhood videos. Make sure you subscribe down below. Today's video is gonna be all about my postpartum experience, plus a little Q&A at the end. I asked my Instagram followers to ask me some questions in regards to postpartum and pregnancy. So I'm gonna be answering those today. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do at Monica Okoma. So, when it came to my postpartum experience, it was pretty much what I was expecting. So, when it came to labor, delivery, postpartum, I was expecting it to be as painful as it could be and as uncomfortable as it could be. And that helped me because nothing superseded the pain that I thought was gonna happen, if that made sense. The way I thought I could cope with it was making it more painful in my brain so that if it was less painful, it was like, oh, thank God. The first thing that I pretty much experienced was my first trip to the toilet, which was to wee. So after I gave birth, I did not go to the toilet for 17 hours. As in 17 hours, I did not go to the toilet. And I was scared. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna try to firm it. I was shook. I was scared. I was shook if I was scared if I was frightened if to even think about going to the toilet. Truth is, does it hurt as much as I thought? Yes, it was painful. And um, nothing eased that pain. I tried the water method when you go to the toilet, nothing was easing the pain. The only thing that made me feel better was actually freezing my maternity pad. So the maternity pads you wear in your underwear, freezing those and putting some witch hazel on it. And I would wear that throughout the day and obviously change them all the time. And that was basically what brought my area some ease. But in terms of going to the toilet, I had to just basically clutch onto everything and wince at the pain whilst I was doing it because nothing, nothing helped. When it came to my perennial floor, which is the whole area down there, when I walked, it hurt. When I sat, it hurt. When I danced, I didn't dance. But anything I'd done, it hurt. It was just hurting 24 seven. I would walk like so slowly, like literally like slowly as if like, you know, there was no such thing as time. That's how I'd be walking, like it was so painful. So the one thing I did not expect when it came to postpartum were night sweats. Like I did not read about this anywhere. I would sleep and wake up drenched. Like my clothes would be so wet, like my sheets, everything. I had to change my sheets daily. Like it was so, so bad. And it wasn't only when I went to sleep at night, it was whenever I slept, period. When I had a nap, I would wake up drenched. Even if the nap was like half an hour, I would wake up soaked, so wet. Like I had really, really, really bad night sweats. Bleeding. I bled for about eight weeks, two months. Wasn't really that bad, pretty simple. Didn't really hurt. When it came to my first cycle, the pain, for me anyway, because I had quite bad period pains before pregnancy, and but, uh, a year without period pains was just so sweet. But the first period that I, I experienced after um, after giving birth and everything, because I had my period, I think, two months after I gave birth, fam, that thing hurt. Like, it hurt to the point where, like, you know when the pain gets so much, you just gotta stop, hold your breath, and like, just take it in and just firm it. That's how, like, my period pains were, yeah, they were they were through the roof. They, they hurt so, 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 so bad. When it came to my emotions, um, emotionally, in terms of postpartum, I didn't really deal with any postpartum depression or anything like that. I do think I've got a bit of the baby blues, but when it comes to the emotions, like, I would just cry. 
Like there was one song I used to cry, like whenever I heard the song, I would just start crying. Like whenever I heard this particular song, I would just start crying, like on demand. I would just cry, it was so bad. And another thing that I experienced were engorged boobs. Like I did not know, like, the thing is yeah, I couldn't wait for my like chest to get filled up with milk. But when they were engorged, the pain, oh my God, it hurt so bad. Like, and the thing is like, the only way you could relieve it or I could relieve it was basically to get a hot towel and press it on them. But the pain was just, it was mad. But now I'd give anything to feel that pain again. Overall, my, my postpartum experience was, um, it was, it was what I expected it to be. It wasn't as bad, but it was, it was definitely a journey. If you guys want to know like what I've done to help through my postpartum journey and the things that I've done, then let me know and I can do a whole dedicated video to postpartum recovery. Three months postpartum, I feel great. I do feel good. I don't feel like my old self. Like I'm not as obviously strong as before, definitely more slower. But in terms of like my area, that doesn't hurt as much. It still hurts here and there, but not as much. Um, no engorged boobs. My feet are no longer swollen. I don't get no more night sweats. So I'm pretty much back to normal, but I'm still kind of adjusting to like this new reality of what my body now is. And that's pretty hard because it's just not what it used to be. And um, for example, like, I have stretch marks on my stomach. I never had that before. I have saggy skin on my stomach. Never had that before. So it's like trying to adjust to this new reality of what my body is now is basically the new challenge. But other than that, I think right now, three months, I feel, I feel good. I feel fine. I feel, I feel great. So now for the q and I'm going to be answering a few questions that some of my Instagram followers asked me in regards to pregnancy and postpartum. So the first question is, how did you prepare your body for pregnancy? Um, I didn't really prepare it for pregnancy because I wasn't really planning to get pregnant. But once I did get pregnant, I started taking folic acid, I started taking multivitamins, and I pretty much started taking everything that you're meant to take once you find out you're pregnant, pretty much. The one thing I did do was I tried to go to the gym. Like, I started trying to do like pump classes and everything. And then, yeah, the doctor said, no, like, don't do anything you weren't doing before. So I stopped doing that. So I pretty much just took it easy. Um, yeah, so in terms of preparing my body for pregnancy, what would I advise? I just advise you to be healthy, be the fittest you can be, be healthy mentally, emotionally, physically. And I'd also recommend taking vitamins before pregnancy as well, just to get your body used to it and just to get your body at the healthiest stage it can be at. Because once you're healthy, you're off to a good start when it comes to pregnancy anyway. The second question is, what was your worst trimester? Um, I think all my trimesters are pretty bad if I'm being honest. In terms of my worst trimester, I would definitely say the first trimester, only because of the nausea. I didn't have so much nausea when it came to the second or the third one, but the first trimester, my nausea was so, so, so bad, and my food aversions were so bad as well. Yeah, so, um. The nausea in my first um, trimester was so bad, so yeah, my first trimester was definitely by far the worst. Um, the next question is, did postpartum make it hard to bond with your daughter? Um, no, no, postpartum didn't really make it hard to bond with her. It did make it hard to keep up, but the whole, everything is so beautiful because all you want to do is basically spend time with your baby. Like, actually seeing, seeing them in the flesh, it's just such a... It's such a crazy experience so postpartum didn't make it hard to bond with her but i had to like definitely do more to like keep up with like her feeding schedule and things like that the next question is do you plan on getting on birth control the next question after that is do you experience postpartum hair loss or oh, sorry did you experience it um no i didn't experience postpartum hair loss well i haven't experienced it yet um, I, but to be honest with you, my hair's been in braids since I've given birth and it's going to be in braids until I get tired. So in terms of postpartum hair loss, I don't think I experienced that. And the last question I believe is what were your toughest pregnancy symptoms? The toughest pregnancy symptoms by far were, um, acid reflux. Acid reflux was, it was so bad. Like I could not eat at least three hours before bedtime. Like I just couldn't do it. There was one particular night where I literally 
had acid reflux out of my mouth and out of my nose at the same time and it was so so traumatic that alone makes me think lord pregnancy wow but um yeah acid reflux was so bad my heartburn was so 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 bad like i used to take these like um these tablets where you would actually have to chew them like the chewable tablets and it was just all such a disgusting experience like oh like thank god it's over but yeah those are the toughest symptoms by far acid reflux and heartburn so those are my toughest 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 symptoms by far but yeah guys that pretty much concludes today's video on my postpartum experience plus the little Q&A. Please let me know how you found it. Again, if you want me to do a video on how my postpartum recovery was, do let me know. And if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys.